Morning guys, welcome to Tuesday. Bryce is up at it, getting some breakfast before school. Tiff and I are up, checking on the dog. Before I went to bed, she had a moment of like, she kind of whimpered. And a couple times, because it's all tile, she's kind of like, sl like was sliding, like she couldn't keep her balance. And I don't know if that's because she couldn't keep her balance or because she didn't have the strength to hold her legs like up the tile, her legs were sliding. So we're definitely gonna take her to the vet. She's not better, she's not better. So we're gonna take her to the vet. So Tiffany's looking up veterinarians at uh, animal hospitals nearby, their hours. And once kids are off to school, her and I'll grab her and head over there to get her checked out. She hasn't touched two treats. We gave her two treats yesterday, thinking maybe she'd eat those, but she hasn't touched those. So they're definitely not normal. Where's the egg sandwiches, dude? Mm -hmm. Mom slacking? Yeah, we'll do for some. And Sierra now has arrived, making a little breakfast. A little Frosted Mini Wheat action. Oh yeah. So baby's moved outside, chilling. No puke yet. Just when we had a glimmer of hope, she's been sitting outside for about 20 minutes while we're getting dressed. She comes inside and just bleh, Like massive. So much puke. It's like projectile maybe? Like she's not even like having to like- Nope, that just, herself. nope, that just came right out. Oh baby, we're not mad at you. We know you don't feel good. We know you're not normal. Look at her. She's like, I'm sorry, guys. I'm sorry. Oh, the babies. Where are we going? Can we go see the doctor? She's going to get a whiff of that office and be like, I remember this place. No. Just kidding. <laughs> All right. The vet was just in here. Kind of checked her out. They said her heart is racing, which I don't know. That's just her being scared and timid. She does that normally, but. Definitely dehydrated. They're gonna keep her overnight, hospitalize her, treat her, give her anti-nausea medicine, give her fluids, try to get her hydrated again, do some blood work and testing and an x-ray, and see if we see anything on the inside. It's all over, five years all over again, huh? Feels like it. Right back in the hospital room with the dog. What'd you do, baby, what'd you do? Hmm. So quick update, uh, they took baby back for x-rays and I think they're gonna start her on fluids or give her some fluids, something. Um, depending on what the x-rays say, if they see something right away, okay, well, it looks like it's gonna be surgery. If they don't see anything, then they're gonna give her what's called barium and it's like a, it's like a pill that will go through her intestines and they kind of track it to see if it's moving and if there's any blockage. And then one thing we didn't discuss is if there's no blockage at all, then it's something else, it's something like, Pancreatitis, pancreatitis, yeah, something like that. So it's all in steps and stages. First things first, x-rays for blockage. And there's baby's insides. Waiting for the doctor to come in and explain to us. I don't see anything. There's something there. That might just be like her stomach or something. I don't know. It's crazy. Inside a baby. Well, we're back home now um, without baby. Uh, doctor came in and she didn't see anything visible, like no visible obstructions. Um, she saw a couple of pockets of gas and one of the, what it looked like ma a mass of gas, but it was a perfect circle. And she goes, it has the same color as gas. So that's why she wasn't immediately like, oh yeah, we need to go in there and get it out. But it's a perfect circle, which is very odd. Um, first thing Tiff and I thought of was, it's one of those Nerf rival balls. So one of these things right here, she swallowed one of these. I'm thinking it was about a week ago, less than a week ago. I don't know exactly. It was definitely in the last this last week, but uh, in any case, that's what was odd. It was it was a perfect circle, but what didn't show mass. She was like thinking maybe well it's a ball that has air in it. That's maybe that's what it is. I'm like no, it's foam. It's solid. So that's why the doctor wasn't really convinced just yet that that's what it was. So the next step is a barium test. So they're gonna give her this liquid barium. Um, it's dense. Uh, it has the same density as like bone. So it'll go through her stomach and intestine tracts, and it'll show up on an X-ray like dense bone, like white lines. And the next basically test is to see, can she actually pass something through her, um, what's it called, GUI track, GI track? Gastrointestines. And if she can, then just then it's something else. And the next step is blood work and to see if it's something that, um, you know, she's got something else. So at this point, we're just waiting for a phone call from the doctor probably in another hour and a half. Uh, they'll set up the barium and um, do the testing in the first set of x-rays. Hi. Hi. How was school? Good. Good. Who's missing? Baby. Just get surgery again. 
happened? She's got a blockage again. Pretty sure it was a Nerf ball. No. So Bryce is home eating a snack. I didn't mean to scare you. Did I scare you? When I said we're missing somebody after the fact, I was like, oh, I hope you like. If if she died, I wouldn't tell you like that, okay? Um, Clint's still up streaming, but we'll, I think we still have to fill you guys in. But she does have to have surgery. We should be getting a call soon here when she gets out of surgery, and they'll tell us that she's doing good. And then recovery. It's like I just went through this with you. <laughs> Oh, dogs. It's like it's my third child. Bryce is home from school and I put him right to work. It's windy out today. It's supposed to rain. It's cloudy. I said, all those leaves, boy. Get out there. Even, he's, been, he's got it so easy. This pool cleans itself. <laughs> he's in charge of the pool. He hardly, hardly ever has to clean it. I think he does it more in the summer just because we're in it more. And we, you know, we want to clean the pool. All right, guys. Just wrapped up uh, a little live stream trying to A, pass the time, and B, just kind of, I don't know, I, I'm the kind of guy that's like, get to work, get my mind off things, and now I'm not working, and now my mind's back on things. Um, so I know Tiffany kind of gave you a quick update when she filled the Bryce in, but um, she does have needed surgery. Uh, the bor boring, bor what's it called? Boral, bor whatever the stuff they injected, they gave her, they barium, saw it immediately. Barium. barium. They saw it right away. Circle ball, pfft, and no barium passed it. So it's completely blocked, needs to be removed. Do the surgery, and then we're just waiting for a phone call at this point, it's about four o'clock. Um, so we should get a phone call any minute, basically, to say she's done. Probably tell us what they found in her stomach, and um, you know what the next steps are. Because I think at this point, they're gonna keep her overnight, keep her on fluids after the surgery. So we'll probably go pick her up tomorrow morning. That's probably what we're looking at right now. We thought that foam ball, she could pass. Well, I don't know. Did you tell them that? that no. Oh, it, it no. was, I believe, the day or two before New Year's Eve. Bryce was playing with the ball and she got excited, like, oh, it's playful. So she grabbed it when Bryce, you know, was on the floor and she swallowed it. We saw her swallow it. And in the past, I would immediately make her throw up. There's a way you can do that the hydrogen peroxide. Very small amount makes every dog throw up almost immediately. We've, I think we've vlogged about that too. Yeah. yeah. Um, and I don't know, something told me like, oh no, I think she's good. She passes so many things, she's eaten worse. That the ball was so small. I didn't think that it would possibly expand, but I'm thinking she can poop that out. So. She's pooped out <laughs> socks after her, like literally a month after her surgery, she pooped out a sock. I was like, oh my God. Like, I had a freak out moment when I saw that. I picked up poop and she had a sock out there. I was like, well, I guess the money was worth it. She can poop out a sock now. She's pooped out paper towels and tissues and even, I don't know, underwear? She dashed she underwear? Uh, I want to say she did. She's vomited it up. Like, yeah. sometimes it doesn't even get past. She'll yeah. immediately throw it up. So the foam ball, we just, I mean, I, I understand. I, I'm with you on that. Like, a foam ball, you think, oh, she can poop that out. Like, she, her poops are bigger than that ball, yeah. you know? But apparently it just, it went the wrong way. It hit the right. So we're assuming still, because we haven't confirmed. Once they cut her open and they'll say, yep, it was a little yellow yeah. squishy ball. It'll be confirmed. But I took it pretty hard because <laughs> I feel like I could have prevented it. Yeah. yeah. Well, that's just, it is what it is. You really want to point fingers. It's like, well, it was my fault for bringing out the guns. It's the kid's fault for not picking up all the balls. It's like, I mean, you can, I mean, Bryce was playing with her. Like, that was the thing. She doesn't eat those balls. There's no, one if it was laying around, she wouldn't like touch it. But because she thought it was like a playful moment. And then we're like, no, no, no. And then her reaction is like, no, this is mine. And yeah, I swallow it real fast it. before they get it from me yeah so so i'm telling her don't blame herself i know it's and not, it's just i know it's the stress of after because now we have to help her recover and treat her like a little baby and then um you're gonna blend her food just stress eat. about yeah she'll be eating like basically water food well food. then on top of that and i think i mentioned this before like i'm leaving on thursday yeah so she comes back tomorrow from surgery and then i leave thursday morning for a conference and her parents did offer to come over and help her out um with baby I mean, she's gonna be like moving around for the most part, but. Well, I just know last time we didn't want to leave her for very long. We'll get through it. It's part of life. It's part of having a, a pet. another pet. I said, what is it next, the tortoise? I know, right? <laughs> okay, I'm starting dinner because we have to do early dinner yeah. again. So. Yeah, maybe. I smell something taco-ish. Hi. Hi. How was school? Good. 
Good. I yeah. asked her how Bay was doing because I kind of scared Bryce. And she scared Bryce. <laughs> she said that. He goes, "Where's, where's, who's missing?" And he, she, he immediately like thought she died. So yeah, she's she's gonna need surgery. Um, they did the test and they found the blockage, and so we, that's what we think. It was a circle. Um, they did the X-rays already. Well, they did. Yeah, they did X-rays when we were there. We saw something. Then they did the test where they put liquid in her, and it shows like lines where the liquid goes. And they said, yep, it was clear as day. Like, it stopped, hit something round, and that's And that's why she has to throw it up, because she can't scoop yep. it out. Yep. So that's why she's throwing up all the time, yep. when she tries to swallow something. Yep. So, so surgery, so we, we should get a phone call any minute to say, that's it. Holy moly, look at this thing. Ah, uh, yeah, I'm starving. <laughs> Cheesy taco tater tot. Casserole. Okay, so we just got the phone call from the surgeon, and baby's fine. She's she's doing okay. She's coming out of her anesthesia. She the doctor did save the piece. We're gonna look at it tomorrow when we pick baby up. She's doing okay, but the doctor did say because of her previous surgery and her previous issues with her intestines, she has a lot of scar tissue. And the reason why the object was not passing is because of her scar tissue and her intestines being fused. The previous doctor like fixed them, but obviously anytime you're ever getting cut open, you're getting scar tissue. Your body's rehealing and has to form scar tissue to, for your body to get back put together. She said that's what caused it. The previous surgery is what caused this one to have the problem. Um, and she's like, I, she's, I'm just gonna be honest with you. The next time she eats something might be the last because she's so messed up on the insides now after the second surgery. Um, so we have to be very, very cautious. We have to make sure that when we leave the house, you know, and she's unattended, there is literally nothing that she could like eat or swallow. And you know, we have to have a talk with the kids and basically let them know that anything that could be eaten by a baby has to make sure it's picked up. Because I'm just gonna tell you right now, I don't want to go through this again. You know, it's her second time in five years, and this is it sucks. So um, yeah, so that's where we're at. They're gonna keep her overnight, keep her on the fluids, keep an eye on her, and then we'll get a phone call in the morning at some point to come pick her up. Holy moly, that looks amazing. It smells amazing. I don't wanna, like, I'm afraid to dive into it. Look at it. It looks so pretty. You guys excited? Yeah. Quick wrap up of dinner, and the girls are off for volleyball. I got you. But you got, you got three volleyball practices this week. You got a scrimmage tomorrow. Yep. Nope. All right, well, have fun. Somebody's excited. Mm -hmm. They got their new uniforms in. This so one's the exact same. same. They just added an American flag to yep. it. This one we had last year, but it was long sleeve. Now it's short sleeve, but it's still the same design. Mm -hmm. And then this is our third jersey because we're a national team. So the national teams get a third jersey that look like this. Cute. Cute I like it. Got it. You can see we got a pink and purple. Yeah. Right there. Yep. Now you just have to wait for a tournament. Yeah. That rain though. Holy moly. We haven't had rain like this in quite a while. Wasn't prepared for it. Look at the rug. Whoop. Well guys, uh, I'm gonna go ahead and end the vlog here, get it edited. Uh, don't know when they're gonna call for us to pick up baby. Um, they open up at 7.30 in the morning, so Whenever the uh, surgeon gets in, checks her vitals, make sure that everything is good. I'm sure we'll get a call and we can just go pick her up sometime early in the morning. I'm hoping it's earlier than later. I wanna get her home, get her settled, kind of figure out you know, our game plan for the day uh, because both Sierra and Bryce have stuff tomorrow night. Uh, but thank you guys all so much. I was reading comments on, uh, on yesterday's vlog um, about you know, what you guys thought it was and what it could have been. And you guys, some of you guys did some research and like Google searches and stuff like that. I really do appreciate that, thank you. We'll just take it one day at a time. You know, it is what it is. It's happened, it's over with, nothing we can do about it now. So uh, thank you guys so much for your support. I appreciate it. We'll see you guys tomorrow when we get baby back. Vlog on.